Hey everybody, Arco here. We are in the first round of 2023 Risk Made Servers Hall of Fame tournament. They just introduced this new tournament now. Feels like we're starting a new tournament <laughs> almost every day. Okay, so we are first in the turn order. This spawn looks kind of crappy in terms of vision here. This is progressive 70% on Atlantis. Uh, do I go for this middle bonus? We got five players and a bot. from that section there but all right yeah as i said we got a bot because unfortunately we had a no show even in the hall of fame tournament but these are full list of settings again we are playing two games today and both games are going to be ooh, nice it's actually really good for us Now that Cosmic moved out. We'll be playing two games today. It's just same point structure as the main uh, FFA tournament. Ah, damn. I should have taken... I should have taken Pete out of there. He added in there, of course. And so it's going to be two points per placement. Uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve for six through first, and then bounty points are three, three, two, one, one. I believe. Uh, players in this game, uh, we are in the first position. Second position is Cosmic Cowboy, Master Technically Grandmaster. We got Pete, Grandmaster, of course. We got Tim, Grandmaster. We got unfortunately got a bot in the fifth position, and then Kilted, Master Technically Grandmaster, in the last position. So we only see two spots of the bot. Apparently it's hitting Pete. So Tim moved a 5 down there, I'm trying to claim this bonus is a bit too late, I should have hit Pete's 2 if I really wanted to put on the pressure for it. People are getting mad at each other already. Let's see. Bot has a two there that might do stuff. Get our card over here. Add a troop there to keep that position alive. Huh. Okay. Hopefully the bot has other stuff to hit. Be 
yeah, this is quite the stacked lobby, even with a bot in here. So hopefully we'll be maximizing some points. If the bot doesn't smack our three... Then I might want to move that back down. I don't know what's going on in this inner ring here. Okay, the bot did not hit our three. Maybe I don't have to worry about that there. <clears throat> For now, at least. Interesting. Ah, Cosmic has a bonus there, okay. So Pete did want to combine that, and now he's hiding in the corner. Tim's kill guarding apparently kilted back there. All right, so if Cosmic holds this, yeah. this means that the bot is only likely in the top left.
Pete knocks me out of that section. Hold on a few territories down there now. This might be a hope for the bot bounty type of game for me, because I'm getting I'm slowly getting chipped away everywhere else. Kilted has a bonus. Market Street? Or Market City? Because he didn't have... There's a bunch of material at West Gardens. The bot had a two in offerings the last time we were there. Well, let's be looking to dance around the bot. Can't afford to card skip with other players holding bonuses while I'm not. Pete early trades. Is he only limited down to this southern area? 15. Hmm. He's gonna take that over, eh? Okay. Bunch of greedy people. <laughs> the more of these types of moves I'm seeing, the more I wished I would have rolled the 6v2v1 on the first turn. Is the bot set on four? No. So Kilted kills the bot here for sure. Yeah, we are not in a good position this game.
<sighs> Would 14 be enough to break through Tim's 5 or 7 or 8 by now? Probably not. Let's keep that there. He does get to hold the <laughs> plus eight. We are going to be in uh, waiting to die mode. Although we are being kill guarded by Cosmic. Tim go for the bot here. If the bot isn't anywhere in the purple plus five bonus up there, then Tim probably has the bot. <laughs> yep, going for it here. No, leaves it alive. Twelve trade. If we're seeing okay, only a little bit gets added up here. So that means it mostly added in the bottom left. Yeah, it took a card there. All right, it's oh, so it's stacked up in philosophers because Kilt is guarding his bonus in Park Tower. Oh man! I'm gonna have to move away from that bot nine stack. Okay, bot has a decent amount of material up here. We'll move off of that area. <sighs> Gosh. <sighs> Damn it. Okay. All right, no set on four means we definitely die first, even before the bot. Unless Kilted has a strong enough army in here to take out this number of bot units. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
Alright, do we see the bot at all three up here? Yes. There's a chance it's still kill guarded in the bottom left, though. Oh, it didn't even get its card up here, then. Yeah. Fuck. Ah, <laughs> uh, damn it. We are not safe at all. Oh boy. Here's hoping Cosmic kills the bot first. Or just takes the 70. If we get a... If someone else takes the 70 here... Oh, please come back to guard me. Please come back to guard me. Uh, no guard on the left side, and Pete still holds. He gets 25. We just have to pray that the bot gets taken out first. Yes! The bot dies. Ah, oh, hallelujah. We get fifth. Pete adds on his three... Kills our 18 troops, trades in again, gets the 70. Yep. Yeah. Alright, we get 5th instead of 6th. Man, no trade on 4 is annoying. I'll have to watch back uh, one of these guys' perspectives to see when the bot got taken out of the bottom left. If I had a chance for the bot kill. Because me going hoping for god dice on the bot kill may have been my only shot, but it got, it got a card elsewhere, so it was still alive down here, I think. Unless Kilted killed it out that turn, but I, it's, I can't really chance that. Ah, well. So that's game one. We get four points for fifth. Better than <laughs> better than last. We're having no trade on four there. So we're going to be moving on to game two. So yeah, here's game number two. It's going to be uh, the Kill Pete Open Final settings, actually, for World Dom Progressive on Brazil Advanced. And we got the bug screen. I guess for this intermission, if any of you get this bug screen and this timer runs out, it'll say, I kicked everybody from the lobby, even though... I'm not the host. Somebody else joining the lobby fixes it. And if positions are full and nobody else joins, the host can add and remove a bot, and that'll also fix it. 
weird, insignificant lobby bug. But yeah. So yeah, we're we're forced to wear our check marks for this tournament, and so far it's proving to be an unlucky thing. Just all superstitious for no reason. <laughs> Uh, we might have our sixth member back. We'll see if they decide to join or not. And we're just discussing the last game. <sighs> Good old intermission. Oh, we got Zombie joining us this game. Okay. Not sure how that works. Between, I think he's on the wait list, maybe. So he's just hopping into a second game. That's that's all right. Hopefully, we can do better than four points here. So yeah, the only thing I think I could have done differently that first game was go for try and greed for the uh, the bonus. By hitting, by rolling a 6v2v1, I guess. Yeah, we have a lot of stuff connected around here. We got alliances on? Okay. And then we will 
to combine stuff. Alright, so settings for this game too. Brazil Advanced, Progressive World Dumb. Same players as before, except now we've recruited up Zombie, who is unsurprisingly also a Grandmaster. So this should be a no bonus game. That's why Tim's staying in that bonus, and that's why I added a couple over there besides Kiltit's 3. Try and prevent that. Attack purple, why? Nobody's above 12. What does he want me to hit? The purple one? I don't see the point there, Mr. Tim. You can tell this game would be a lot better in VC. There'd be a lot of smack talking going on. Alright, let's pretend we can <laughs> spread our troops around up here. Now we're on 12 territories. There we go. I was going to say, surely these five players of this caliber with a lion's chat knocks me under 12 here. That's good. Okay, if my one survives at the top and there's still an orange one there, probably going to make a four on one there to create a fifth position. Nobody above 12. We unfortunately, there's a troop there. That's okay.
should get knocked under. Cosmic's trying to hold a bonus. Both Tim or Kilted can 9 before that. We can't really help much. Not sure why Tim moved out of that bonus to begin with. So does Kilted 9 before Cosmic, or does he maybe punish Tim in some way for making him have to break Cosmic? Probably debating that now. <clears throat> He's not going to break. So if zombie doesn't seven before. Then Cosmic has an incentive to card skip since he's the only one holding a bonus. If he card skips, I'm probably going to have to hit the two at the top unless he adds to it, maybe. All right, doesn't card skip. Fair enough. Uh, how are we doing for cards? Three horses, sure. Interesting. So Tim moved out of that bonus. And then neither Tim or Kilted 9 before it to break. I have to wonder what that's all about.
right, so Tim and I are gonna be the weaker ones come the second set of trades. Even close to a plus two. Eh, down there, but I'd rather be where that five is. That, no set on three. Yeah, not looking... I sort of have lines on Kilted, but he has 10 troops more than I do. See him not so subtly line me up there. Extremely soft kill guard for me up there. have a portal on that as well now. Fantastic.
Okay, we have a trade. Thank goodness. Oh, and I could have stayed there for a plus two. Unless that was the card I just got. Oh, I got Goliath. Yeah, I should have double checked that. Won't matter too, too much, but... Ugh. Hopefully it'll help a bit. Hmm. I'll use that chance to sneak my seven up into the corner there. Okay, yeah, that's one in twelve territories. That or he's just trying to be hard to kill, I guess. So we are definitely trading, even if Cosmic doesn't trade. Okay, he does trade. Ah, oh, man, we're gonna die anyway. Oh no, this is for Tim. Tim. Oh. Well played to Cosmic. Why am I hitting Pete? Oh, he's trying to go for me now. Not quite enough through the portal. <sighs> Do I have lines on anybody? Kilted, maybe? 48. Not quite enough. Gone for a zombie. Yeah, well, 
multiple taps there. All this hidden five stacks. Wow, really good roll on the 13v11. Okay. Does he go for Kilted now? Nah, he's low on time. No set on four. Smashing into me. Trying to get me killed? Feeding the game to Cosmic? Okay. Trying for a, trying for a higher placement, I guess? Good that didn't work. What a dumb play. Okay. Alright. Well, that was something. So Pete just gets all the points, I guess. Not sure what the heck that was. I guess he was just trying for a higher placement, trying to alliance chat with Cosmic. And I get taken out first anyways. Oh, man. Alright, so Pete walks away with, I think, all the bounties except for one? Then combine that with game one, it'll be on like 30-something, 40-something points. Good lord. Okay, so we finish... What did we get? Fourth in the end? So that's six. We get a whopping 10 points. I have no idea... Yeah, 10 points. I'm not sure if there's point cutoffs in between rounds. We might be able to play in round two. I'm not sure when the point cutoffs start. But <laughs> we are definitely uh, lower on the uh, lower on the point totals there. All right. Well, those were two very unfortunate games. Can confirm uh, using the check mark is a sign of bad luck. Completely superstitious. Definitely not low sample size. <laughs> but alrighty. Uh, we'll see if I make it for round two, assuming there are no point cutoffs just yet. But either way, more tournament games to come. Round two might be next week sometime, depending on the scheduling. 
But alrighty, GG's to all of our opponents, and until next time, take care, and cheers for stopping by.